So now let's hook this functionality up to our API so that we can persist our attendance or cancel of attendance. And what we'll do is we'll go to, and in fact, I have a limit to how long I can see multiple open tabs in VS Code, and I've just about reached it. So I'm just going to open up the agent.ts file. And inside here, what we want to do, and, and we'll do this inside our activities object, and what we'll do is we'll just add another two methods for this. And what we'll do is we'll add a method called attend, which is going to take the ID of the activity, and what we'll say is requests dot post and in here we want to say forward slash activities forward slash and then dollar and ID and then the root to this is attend now we get an error because this is a post request and we have to provide the argument for the body so what I'll do is I'll just add an empty object in here to get around that particular requirement because we don't need to send up a body with this request all of the logic for this is taking place on the server and I'll add another method for unattend and once again we'll take the ID which is a string and we'll say requests dot delete in this case and we'll say activities forward slash and then dollar ID and also we need forward slash attend for this request as well. But we don't need to provide a body for this request because it's a delete request. So with this in place, we can then head back to our activity store. And we want to use this inside our attend activity and our cancel attendance. Uh, so we'll make these async methods. And what we want to do is add a try catch block. And we'll pass in error in here as well. And we also want to add a loading indicator here as well. So let's go up to our observables in this file. And we've got one for loading initial. But we don't have one for just a normal loading. So I'm just going to add another observable. And call it loading and set it to false. And scroll on back down. And inside the or inside this method, I'm just going to set the list.loading equal to true and in the catch I'll set list.loading equal to false and I'll also add a toast inside here as well and say toast.error and problem signing up to activity as the message and inside the try block, the first thing we want to do is add the await and agent.activities and attend. And then we just need to pass in the activity ID. Now we can get that from our store itself. So we'll say list.activity.id. And of course, this could possibly be null. So we'll need to use the exclamation mark again. And then what we'll do is we'll say run it in action because Remember, anything that occurs after we await is technically happening inside a different function. So we need to use the running action. And inside here, what I'll do is I'll just cut and paste the contents, including the if statement inside here, and just paste this inside the running action. And we also need to turn off the loading indicator. So I'll say list.loading equals false. And we also need to use the run in action around this particular loading indicator as well because this is going to take place after our agent request. If anything fails inside here, it's most likely going to be with our API request. So let's just also add the run in action here as well so that we set our loading observable inside the context of an action. And we'll just do the same thing for the cancel attendance. I'll just add the try catch block. And catch and error. And I'll just add a toast dot error. And just say problem cancelling attendance in here. And inside the try or just before the try, I'm just going to say list.loading equals true 
And inside the try, I'll just say agent.activities.unattend. And once again, we just need to pass list.activity.id and exclamation mark. And I need the await operator in front of this. And this also needs to be an async method. And then what I'll do is I'll just do the same as before. I'll just add a running action. And then I'll just cut and paste the if statement with all of the updates to our observables. And I'll just do another running action for the catch. And inside here, I'll just turn off the loading indicator and set that to false. And we also need to set this to false inside our action as well, so that we don't have a permanent loading spinner for our buttons. And let's head back to our activity detailed header. And what we'll do is we'll just also bring in the loading indicator here. And let's just add the loading indicator to our buttons as well. And for the cancel attendance, I'll just say loading equals loading. And just do the same for the join activity. Loading equals loading. And just reformat things. And let's go take a look and make sure this is working as expected. And click cancel attendance. And Tom has gone. And I should be able to refresh the page and this should persist. And it does. And I should be able to join the activity and Tom is back in there, and once again I should be able to refresh, and that should persist, and it does. And just because, I'm just going to click on View, and click on Join Activity, and I want to go back to the activities and make sure I can see that we get the, you are going to this activity here as well, and we do. So that's all good, and there's one or two loose ends we need to clean up, but we've pretty much covered the functionality that we're covering in this section. So what we'll do next is we'll just take a, a look at a, a loose end, which is what happens when we create an activity. We also need our attendance in there as well. And we'll also take the opportunity to see if we've got any nasty warnings in our console that need cleaning up. And we'll take a look at that next.